Hi, yeah, it's Maggie at Minnie the Minx UK um, on YouTube and the Captain. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you um, how to make folder pages and pockets um, just from envelopes and cards. And so basically, your first page um, would be that would get attached to the hidden hinge system here, and there'd be a pull out card on that side. So that's your very first pocket on it and second one would be it's two envelopes together you could either use a third envelope to make this pocket they're glued together and then your pull out card on that and you just keep doing that same technique all the way through um, having one pull out card and then with a pocket or you could cut two bits of that card and have two pockets joined on there in your card and just keep rotating that all the way around. So the first page all you did, all you do is take your envelope, right, it's got your envelope and you glue down where the licky bit would be, um, you know, and then cut down each edge and or you would use a paper trimmer but you could use scissors, it depends, right? So to make your first page, you have to leave that open. Sometimes when you've sealed that bit down, um, these bits at the side come up. So just go round them with your glue and make sure that they're properly sealed down, just to hold. It just depends the thickness of your card. Um, and if I would distress all the edges um, on these so that when you're hooking each page together, you'll get right in the cre crevices and it can make a big difference. Now, all you're doing from there is there's your card, it's folded in the middle, scored down the middle, and that would um, pop in there like that. So this side gets attached to your hidden hinge, and it would pull out like that, once decorated, you could have pockets, etc. Right, so that would be your first page. And the second page, to get the pockets, um, is two envelopes together. So basically you're taking, taking these sides, Line that up with each other like that, and basically all you're doing is gluing these two bits together like that. All right. So I'll just quickly show you, and it'll probably fall to bits though, but we'll just be quick. So it's the two inner bits of the. Well, would actually would it be the inner bits? No, it would be the outside bits of the envelope. So all you need to do is glue one side um, of the envelope. All right like that and you're attaching it to the other side not the sticky side but to the envelope so if you line them up like that you should get them even all you're doing is going to glue that together like that now mine's my glue's not brilliant so it will take a few minutes to stick together and you could just score it along that full line and um, just to make sure that it's going to stick down a little score your scorer and maybe fold it back again Right, just to it's not stuck very well. Now, while that's drying, you could um, just double check that each of these creases you know, that would open like that now. The book, right? You're going to check that each of these folds have been glued down and um, because sometimes they stick up on either side, sometimes, like, like there, they're not being glued down very well. So, it's just checking what I actually did was. I've actually snipped off down that side of the envelope and snipped down that side of the envelope. And when you do that, you tend to find that the inner bits of that will come away. So, like that. So I would, if I was you, well, that top bit's drying, I would go round the edges and just glue them down quickly. So I'll just show you quickly, but you'll have more time than me. So when that's dried, those two bits together, and it forms that kind of shape, like a book, as if you were opening a book like that. This side here, um, I would cut that down and leave just a bit, of, a small bit about that on it, and that becomes like a your bit to attach your third page. So I would normally use my cutter, paper cutter, but as I'm just for time, I'm just going to eyeball it and cut down as straight as I can. So I'm trying to show you that next to that line, I've left about that. Now, you have a choice here. You could either cut that and make two pockets with your card, 
So you don't need that, but you can throw it away. So there's your, this is going to be your pocket. So you've got a choice. You could either put that pocket in that size and attach it there. So what you would actually have is you would have this for attaching to your hidden hinge. That is another page. Um, and then your third one, you're going to attach. You're going to slot in this card, right? To that. Or you could cut this one down in size. You could cut that to wherever you wanted it and made your pocket. Snip that part away. And all you're going to do is you would insert that. So I'll quickly show you if you want. We can cut it down. Um, let's say we're going to do that size. So you're basically making a cut there. And you're going to glue this bit over because we don't need it. So just so it's not sticking up, glue it over on one side, just like that, and tuck it under here. And just, see it? Press it down like that. Now, this side will be sticking out like that. And so that the paper attaches better, just a little snip on that side and a little snip to this side. And that's so that when you go to attach this card here, which is going to be a pocket, it will fit on easier. Now what you have to do is eyeball it up, line it up, wherever you're going to have it, wherever you want, how far up you want your pocket. So wherever you've snipped there, what I'm saying is, your pocket's going to be from that bit down to that bit. So you have to match it up. So basically all you're going to do is, you could have your paper cutter out, but just for sort of quickness, I'm going to mark it with my pencil and I'm going to, oh, sorry, I'm going to line it across like that. And I'm going to quickly cut it. I'm just doing a score line to show you quickly to see, so you can see where it's going to be. But I would advise that you use the paper trimmer um, to get even. So basically what you've got is that, and you're going to attach that to there. That's what you're going to do. Um, and when you attach it, you can either use wet glue or you can use double-sided tape. Just be careful you don't do it too far to that line because you need that pocket to move back and forward and not get caught in there. So you can either glue down those bit, glue on either side of that or use double-sided tape. Um, I'm going to quickly use double-sided tape um, on this just to do it. See, oh, well, I hope it's quick. Um, my double-sided tape's actually quite thick. I've run out with a smaller one, so I just snip it in half. So a little bit of score tape down one side, a little bit of score tape, tape down the other. So you can see I've got score tape on that side and score tape on that. Um, I'm just going to take this edging off the score tape because I'm going to attach that bit I've just did. So the pocket, I've made the pocket and what I'm going to do is attach that to there but I don't want anything to fall at the bottom. So a little bit of wet glue along the bottom. You need to be careful. If You can use double sided tape but what can happen is any tags that you put in the pocket um, can sometimes stick with the score tape. So just run a little bit of wet glue along the bottom and eyeball this up. Try and get it even if you can, like so, and then fold it down. Right. Now, it'll take a few minutes to dry, but so that she got that. And in there you would put a tag, or for a picture, or for journaling. And you need a, another card here, and that's going to slot into the other open side here. So that. Yeah, and that's a pull out. So, what you've got, what you're going to end up with, that will be four pages now, because I, sh I showed you the first two. So you're going to start off with with this one. You can decorate that, put a bit of paper down there, nice paper, and decorate these for journaling or photo mats. All right, and that will be like that, slot in like that, and you can do the back. So that will be page one, and then you would have page two so you can cover that up with paper and that'll become what you're going to slot into your hidden hinge there's your pocket and in your pocket i've just shown you quickly because um, you could make a lovely massive fancy tag and we'll just show it like that and then you could do a little border down here just another little pocket in front glue down the sides along the bottom and there you could do a little edging and slot in two tags 
So I'm just going to quickly show you, they're not proper colours, but it's just so what you can see how it starts to build up and it starts to get thick on that, right? Yeah, just like that, and then turn the pocket over and you can put in another tag at that side, add a little bottom pocket and decorate it any way you want. Once the paper's gone, it becomes really lovely. And then that one, now what you've got to remember here, because this pulls out, is when you put on your paper, remember that just to glue the paper down this side, don't do in there. Um, sorry, don't do up that side. You can glue down on this part of your paper that's going to be attached to there, but not that. Because if you glue down that side and press it down, you won't be able to bring this card in and out. Okay, so that becomes your next page. Right, and you just continue that. So we had made two of these. So pull out tag, that would be your hidden hinge, and you decorate all of that. As I said, you could, um, you could add add another border just there a little pocket once it's decorated it'll look different and um, just glue down that side pop in some tags and I would I would distress all your edges and inside these bits I would distress them it really comes out lovely if you do it and the fourth the last page it's page four is this one again so this is going to be your hidden hinge and um, you're going to add paper down there you can glue down that side because that's going to be your hinge page. It's not you're not going to have a tag in there, and the pockets cover with paper. And um, this pocket, your tags come in this way. But when you did it, you could have actually had the tag coming out the side if you wanted. That was your preference. Um, and a pocket on that side, and then a final pull out tag, just like um, a final pull out card for family photos or journal. And, and just remember again, as I said, when you're gluing on your paper from this side, don't go down that edge or you won't be able to pull that in and out. Just along this bit here. So, um, that's four pages for a journal. You can keep it going and make it as thick as you want, but I'm just going to decorate those four. And I'll just quickly show you, I'm going to use vintage style paper stack. And there's 30... 32 sheets approximately, 6 by 6 inches in here, and out the works, I don't know if you've got the works near your bit, but that costs 99 pence. And the papers in here are absolutely lovely. So I'm showing it this way, but the colours in there, are, to me, are absolutely beautiful. Um, so I will come back and show you that finished project in a little while. Um, and let you see what I've done with it. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye!